Hi, I'm Julianne Cost, and in the next few minutes, we're going to be taking a look at how to enhance our images using the Presence sliders, Texture, Clarity, and Dehaze. All three of these sliders add contrast to the image, but they do it in very different ways. I'm going to zoom in, and let's start with the Texture slider. So Texture looks for edges in an image, and when it finds an edge, it can either increase or decrease the contrast of that edge. For example, if I move the slider to the left, that will reduce the amount of edge contrast in an image, but the photo will still retain small details. This can be really helpful for minimizing skin texture or smoothing surfaces, for example. If I move the slider to the right, that will increase the amount of edge contrast in an image. This can be helpful for intensifying the texture of objects like foliage or hair and fur. Now, when we're using the texture slider, the increased or decreased edge contrast, depending on what direction the slider's moved, is done so along a very small radius of pixels, meaning that the edge contrast is only applied to a relatively small area around the edge that it detects. If we look at the histogram as I move the slider, we can see that while a significant number of columns are being changed, they aren't being changed very much. All right, let's double click on the tick mark to reset texture. Now the clarity slider also looks for edges in an image. When it finds an edge, it can either increase or decrease the contrast at the edge. But when it applies the contrast, it does so to a wider range of pixels than the texture slider. So its effect is spread out over a wider range, creating a softer transitional area away from that detected edge. The clarity slider is also intentionally biased. It affects the midtones of an image more so than the highlight and shadow areas. Clarity also affects luminance and saturation in an image much more than the texture slider. If we look at the histogram as I move the slider, we see that significantly more values are being changed than from when we use the texture slider. Here we can see a side-by-side -side comparison of both texture and clarity I imagine that your edits will be more subtle, but I think this helps show the difference between the two sliders. All right, let's move to this next image. The dehaze technology is based on a physical model of how light is transmitted, and it tries to estimate light that is lost due to absorption and scattering through the atmosphere. So moving the slider to the left will decrease the amount of dehaze, making the photo appear as if it has more atmospheric perspective. The colors will look less saturated and the photo appears less detailed. Moving the slider to the right decreases the effect of atmospheric perspective and it adds some saturation as if it's cutting through the haze. If we look at the histogram as I move the slider, there is very little change in the highlight area on the right side of the histogram, while the shadows and lower portion of the histogram are changed significantly. If the colors become overly saturated, we can use the vibrance or saturation sliders or any of the other color tools in Lightroom Classic to make them appear more realistic. A few tips before we wrap up. If we hold down the Option key on Mac or the Alt key on Windows and drag the slider, Lightroom Classic will display an overlay showing areas that are clipped to pure black. If you want to maintain detail in your shadows, you'll want to back off on the slider a bit until you don't see any black in that overlay. Also, depending on the image, I often use the dehaze slider to set a black point, especially if I want a little boost in saturation. Here I'll double click on the blacks slider to reset that, and then I'll increase the amount of dehaze watching the histogram in order to set the black point on the left side. And finally, I've demonstrated all of these features being applied to the entire image. However, they can also be added to just portions of an image using masking. I'm Julianne Cost. Thanks for watching.